In this video, I want to answer a question about why some of us generate so much saliva, which can cause a spitty, gurgly sound in the saxophone or on any wind instrument. Hi, I'm Donna from DonnaSchwartzMusic.com. The site to boost your performance and improvisation skills to the next level. Hey, do me a favor and subscribe to my channel by tapping the subscribe bell below. And if you want to fatten up your saxophone tone, I have a free video lesson with three actionable tips you can do right away. Now this video has helped thousands of saxophone players all over the world just like you. Just click the link in the description below. Bernard asks, I play alto sax and whenever I play there's a lot of saliva coming out. Can you help me? All right, there are many other great videos out there that do address the spitty sound, and they talk about condensation forming inside the instrument that causes that. But I wanna talk about why we generate so much saliva in the first place. Now, some people naturally generate more saliva than others. I'm one of them, and honestly, I never thought anything about it until one of my private students told me he had the same problem. Now, instinctively, I just knew I had to suck up the spit more frequently than most people. And sucking up the spit means doing this. All right, you're gonna see me doing that a lot when I play. See, I gotta do it right there. So <laughs> you, need to, you need to do this. You need to suck up the spit that forms on the other side of the reed um, because you want to avoid that spitty, that disgusting, gurgly sound that prevents you from playing with a clear tone. It's not a professional sound. And doing this often, usually after pauses in the music, will also lessen that really annoying problem of the condensation building up and forming moisture that comes out of the palm keys and or the B and the A keys. Now, I find this more of a problem on tenor than on alto, and thankfully, uh, my friend Rulon Brown from Key Leaves created the spit sponge so that if you do have that problem, really simple, just keep this in your pocket and just put it in between the pad and the tone hole with the yellow side up. And this really does help absorb moisture and it's washable and reusable. I did do a video review of the spit sponge. I'll put the link in the description below. Now, funny story. Um, I used to tell my young students, especially before they went to lunch, this is in public school, about having to suck up the spit. They really appreciated that, especially right before lunch when I said, hey, it's your own spit, love it. Now, what causes excess saliva in your mouth just in general? Some medical sites state that eating too many starchy foods, acidic foods, or spicy, or even very sour foods can produce excess saliva. Your taste buds overreact and produce more saliva as a result. So I would say if you've got a really important performance coming up, be mindful of what you're eating the day of the performance and, you know, especially right before the performance. Now, other reasons can be certain prescription medications can cause excess saliva, acid reflux, pregnancy, cavities in your mouth, or a mouth infection can cause this too. Now, one thing I've noticed also over the 30 plus years I've been teaching students, um, especially the younger ones, having braces tends to generate more saliva in your mouth. And I, really, I didn't know why, all right? And this was true for me too. Um, even for adults who wear Invisalign retainers, which I do, you still generate more saliva. So according to Norwest Orthodontics, anything you place in your mouth sets off receptors in your brain, pr producing more saliva to prepare you to digest food. So when you add braces in your mouth, these same receptors are triggered and you get more saliva. And because having braces sometimes makes you close your mouth a little differently, like the wired braces, that also generates more saliva. And if you think about it, when you play something like a saxophone or a clarinet or even bassoon or oboe, you're placing a mouthpiece or a reed inside your mouth. And for some people, that will make you generate more saliva automatically. Now, I've also found that when I play synthetic reeds, and I've been playing synthetic reeds for many years, I need to suck up the spit more. 
that's because cane reeds tend to absorb the moisture much better. Now, does that mean you shouldn't play synthetic reeds if you find out that you generate more saliva? No, all right? You just have to clear the excess moisture more often, that's all. And there's so many different types of synthetic reeds on the market now compared to back when I was first uh, playing. Some of them have more cane-like qualities and they're more absorbent. So test out different reeds, but the deciding factor, honestly, it's the sound quality you get from the reed, not exactly how absorbent it is. Do you tend to generate a lot of saliva when you play your instrument? Let me know in the comments below by typing the word saliva. I know that's gross. So what do you do to lessen the amount of saliva in your mouth, especially when playing saxophone, so that you can avoid that disgusting, spitty, gurgly, amateurish sound? Well, from the Medical News Today site, they state drinking plenty of water can reduce saliva production. Toothbrushing, rinsing with mouthwash can also temporarily dry out the mouth. And as I mentioned before, be mindful of what you eat before performance. Acidic, spicy, or very sour foods can cause extra saliva, as can very starchy foods. Here's a suggestion. Take out a journal and record everything you eat before you play your instrument, and do this for seven to 14 days and look for some patterns there. Note down when you feel like you're generating more saliva. That'll give you clues about what foods to avoid. Now, for saxophone players, tonguing on the underside of the reed can generate more saliva in your mouth. So remember, think tip of tongue to tip of reed. Also, make sure you're using your embouchure properly. If your bottom lip is rolled out too far, that can, that can generate more saliva, it just did actually. And of course, you're gonna have less control over your sound. So sometimes the spitty sound is due to using the wrong strength reed too whether it's too soft or too hard, you're going to need to experiment to find the right strength read for you. By the way, don't forget to sign up for your free three tips to fatten up your saxophone tone video lesson. The link is in the description below. Another thing to think about is maintaining good posture so that your head and neck are aligned. You don't wanna to lean too far forward or, or you know, duck your chin uh, too far back. I have a recent video where I talk about instrument angle, especially for alto saxophone players. In a future video, I'll share a quick tip for all brass and wind musicians who get dry mouth, especially when they get nervous before a performance. Now, I hope this video has helped you play with a less spitty, gurgly sound on your instrument. Hey, do me a favor, please subscribe to my channel, tap that like button also. And on that note, take care. Have a great day.